August 25th, the fourth work day of the week, a Wednesday, midst of the week, as the Bible says, the middle of the week of the year 2010. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, our daily walk with Jesus, day 236 of the year 2010. Religious leaders surround Jesus at the temple. Brethren, I suggest you write the chapter and verses down on a pad of paper so you can go back and study it at your own time. You'll be able to take your own time and study it and get much more out of it than we can give you in the short period that we have here. You can use the pause button down here in the corner to start and stop this lecture at your own leisure so that you can be able to find the place in your own Bible. Well, with that, brethren, let's get right on over into the religious leaders surround Jesus at the temple. To do that, we'll go to John chapter 10, verses 22 through 30. It was winter, and Jesus was in Jerusalem at the time of the dedication uh, celebration. He was at the temple walking through the selection known as Solomon's Hall. The Jewish leaders surrounded him and asked, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. I have already told you, and you don't believe me, Jesus replied. The proof is in the miracles that I do in the name of my Father. But you don't believe me? because you're not part of my flock. My sheep recognize my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one shall match them, snatch them away from me, for my Father has given them to me, and he is more powerful than anyone else, so no one can kidnap them from me. I and the Father are one. The dedication celebration commemorated the cleansing of the temple under Judas Maccabeus in 165 B.C. after Antiochus Ephippians had defiled it a few years earlier by sacrificing a pig on the altar of the burnt offering. The feast was celebrated towards the end of December. This is also the present day Feast of Lights called Hanukkah. On whose terms? The statement, I and the Father are one, is the clearest statement of Jesus' divinity he ever made. Jesus and his Father are not the same person, but they are one in essence and nature. Therefore, Jesus was not merely a good teacher. He was the first begotten Son of God the Father. His claims to be the Son of God was unmistakable. The religious leaders wanted to kill him because their law said that anyone claiming to be the Son of God should die. Nothing could persuade them that Jesus' claim was true. Jesus tried to correct their mistaken idea ideas, but they clung to the wrong idea of what kind of a Messiah God would send. Such blindness still keeps people away from Jesus. They want him on their own terms. They do not want him if it means changing their whole lives. Our need for daily prayer. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, Captain of Salvation, who knows the hatred and workings of evil against my soul? Deliver me from the manifold temptations and trials that assail me, and make a way of escape for me. Give me your mighty power, and help me to become more than a conqueror. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it, and you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. 
My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he had dwelt bountifully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and his Son. Son of God, eternal Savior, John chapter 17 verse 11 reads, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, here we are in the middle of the week, are you making void the word of God? Have you gotten down on your knees and asked for forgiveness for following the tradition of men? Men's holidays instead of God's holy days. You don't know what God's holy days is? Go to Leviticus 23 and they will be shown to you. Do you know what his laws are? Go to ex Exodus 20, and they are enumerated there. But you say they're not in the New Testament. That's wrong. They're strung through the whole New Testament. Every one of the laws. And in Revelation it says the saints are with them, are going to be with them, that follows the word of God or the commandments of Theos that is the word of Christ and the commandments of Theos of God all of the laws and Christ says if you love me keep my commandments do you keep all of them or you just knit and pick on it pick out the ones you like remember God's laws are not multiple choice. While you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of the letter that God sent to you, and that is found in your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.